Hello everyone. Today I am going to give you a glimpse of miracle mystery and morality plays in brief. Well, now I begin with miracle plays. These are also called saints plays as they give real or fictitious account of the lives, miracles or martyrdoms of saints. In England, Mary Magdalene and the conversion of St. Paul are two known surviving miracle plays since the Middle Ages. But in France, there is famous cycle of Miracle de Notre Dame, 42 plays belonging to 14th century. These plays are written in octosyllabic couplets, each dramatizes aspect of human activity and each concludes with miraculous intervention by Blessed Virgin Mary. Some plays were performed about St. Nicholas too. During the 16th century, King Henry had banned miracle plays and consequently their popularity decreased. Examples of some miracle plays, Heroing of Hell, St. John the Airy, St. Nicholas and Raising of Lazarus. Next is mystery plays. Mystery term was derived from Latin word ministerium, meaning a group of clergy from different religious groups. The mystery plays of the Middle Ages were based on Bible and were mainly concerned with tales of man's creation, fall and redemption. They flourished out of the liturgy of the church. They are earlier performed on the Christian festivals, Christmas, Easter, Pentecost and Corpus Christi in Latin and performed by clergy of the church. They are then vernacular and lady folk began performing in them. The drama moved out from church to marketplace. Trade guilds showed more interest in their writing and performance and they also felt themselves accountable for the play. The Masons Guild would present Noah's story and Weaver's The Crucifixion of Jesus. The aim of dramatizing cycle of plays was to spread teachings of Bible from creation of hell and heaven to the last judgment and of the world when everyone on earth will be just by God and divided between hell and heaven, salvation and damnation. Each play presented on wagon with curtained setup, the wagon moved from one place to another place of the city like York and spreading the teachings to large size of public. With the beginning of reformation, mystery plays faded and were replaced by morality plays. The four most prominent collections of mystery plays are First is York Cycle with 48 pageants, Townley Plays with 32 pageants, Chester Cycle with 32 pageants, Wakefield with 42 pageants. Some common mystery plays are Birth of Jesus, The Wise Man, Flight into Egypt, The Second Shepherd's Play. Last is Morality Plays. Dominican and Frankisian monks developed the Morality Plays in 13th century. Basically, a morality play is an allegory in dramatic form. They emerged from miracle and mystery plays of the late Middle Ages. Morality play, however, was a kind of dramatization of the struggle between forces of good and evil in the human soul and setting the will of good over evil and heading towards salvation through the journey of life to death. The main characters in famous play, Every Man, that was very famous, famous mystery play, morality play, are God, Messenger, Death, Everyman, Fellowship, Good Deeds, Goods, Knowledge, Beauty, Strength. Everyman is summoned by Death and he finds that no one with him except Good Deeds. In other plays we see the forces of evil, world, flesh and devil, the seven deadly sins and various demons work against man but his good deeds serve as a shield. The most popular morality plays are the Castle of Perseverance. Mind, Will and Understanding, Mankind, Every Man, Skeletons, Magnificence, Restless, Four Elements, Henry, Medwell's Nature, Buchton's All for Money, Marlowe's Dr. Faustus, and Ben Johnson's The Staple of News also show the influence of morality plays. Thus, I gave you a very brief glimpse of Miracle, Mystery and Morality plays. And the contribution of these plays to the development of modern drama is immense. Thank you and thank you very much.